colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is an exam that lets a doctor closely look at the inside of the entire colon and rectum to find polyps or signs of cancer. Polyps are small growths that, over time, can become cancer. The doctor uses a flexible, hollow, lighted tube about the thickness of a finger that has a tiny video camera on the end. This tube, called a colonoscopy, is gently eased inside the colon and sends pictures to a TV screen. Special instruments can be passed through the colonoscope to remove small polyps or take tissue samples if needed. Purpose a colonoscopy is a medical procedure used to examine the inside of the colon, large intestine, and rectum. It is typically performed to screen for colon cancer or to investigate symptoms like rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, changes in bowel habits, or unexplained weight loss. Procedure During a colonoscopy, a long, flexible tube with a camera is inserted through the rectum into the colon. The camera provides real-time images of the colon's lining, allowing the doctor to identify abnormalities or growths called polyps. Polyp removal. If polyps are detected during a colonoscopy, they can be removed for further analysis and to prevent potential progression to cancer. Most colon cancers develop from precancerous polyps. Preparation. Adequate preparation is essential for a successful colonoscopy. This usually involves cleansing the colon by consuming a special diet and laxatives to ensure that the colon is clear of stool and debris. Sedation. Most colonoscopies are performed under sedation to minimize discomfort. Sedatives help patients relax and reduce pain during the procedure. Frequency. The frequency of colonoscopies depends on factors such as family history, personal health history, and the presence of polyps. In general, individuals with average risk for colon cancer should start screening around age 45 to 50 and repeat the procedure every 10 years if no abnormalities are found. What is bowel prep? Bowel prep is a process to clean out the colon as much as possible so the doctor can see the inside clearly and get good pictures. The prep may include eating a special diet, drinking up to a gallon of a liquid laxative, medicines, and sometimes enemas that make you go to the bathroom a lot. You may also be instructed to stop taking certain over-the-counter or prescription medications up to a week before the test. Importance of Colonoscopy Colonoscopy is an important tool for early detection and prevention of colorectal cancer, which is one of the most common cancers worldwide. Detecting and removing precancerous growths, polyps, during a colonoscopy can significantly reduce the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Does a colonoscopy hurt? Most people don't feel pain during any of the tests, but may feel cramping or discomfort afterward because of the air that was puffed into the colon during the test to keep it open for the doctor to examine. How often is a colonoscopy needed? If nothing is found, you can go up to 10 years without another test. People older than 75 should talk with their healthcare provider about if they should keep getting screened. If something is found, you may need more frequent tests or treatment. What if they find something during my colonoscopy? If a small polyp is found during a colonoscopy, your doctor will probably remove it during the test. If a polyp is too large to be removed, or if you have an abnormality that looks like cancer, the doctor will take a small piece of it out to check it for cancer or precancer cells, a biopsy. The results of this tissue analysis will determine whether you need additional procedures or treatment. Colon health, diet, a balanced diet rich in fiber, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can promote colon health. High fiber foods help maintain regular bowel movements and prevent constipation. To maintain a healthy colon, it's crucial to consume 25 to 35 grams of fiber daily since fiber makes you feel fuller for longer and encourages regular bowel movements. You can lessen your risk of acquiring colon-related diseases by keeping items moving through the colon, nuts, seeds, berries, lentils, beans, broccoli, carrots, 
Apples, pears, and peas are a few excellent sources of fiber. Make an effort to include these foods in your everyday diet. Research has shown that the Western diet correlates to higher colon cancer rates. People who eat high-fiber diets are less likely to develop the disease. Limit the amount of meat you eat, especially processed meats. Focus on consuming healthy fats found in olive oil, salmon rich in omega-3, avocados, and nuts, as well as limiting low-processed fats found in fried food. Hydration Staying hydrated is important for maintaining healthy bowel function and preventing constipation. When you're not properly hydrated, toxins can build up in your body. Drinking eight or more glasses of water a day can help move toxins and excrement through your colon more quickly. Keeping track of how much water you're drinking or setting water goals throughout the day can help you stay hydrated. Physical activity. Regular exercise can contribute to overall colon health by promoting proper digestion and reducing the risk of constipation. Regular exercise can encourage more consistent bowel movements. The increase in blood flow and circulation makes your GI system more effective overall. Studies have shown that exercise, especially in more rigorous forms, can greatly reduce the risk of developing some digestive disturbances. Avoidance of tobacco and alcohol. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption have been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. Minimizing or avoiding these substances can help maintain colon health. Regular screening. Regular colonoscopies or other recommended screening tests are crucial for the early detection of colon cancer. Early detection increases the chances of successful treatment. It's so important that we're back where we began. One of the most important cancer prevention strategies is following the colon cancer screening, guidelines based on age, risk factors, and family factors. Multiple colon cancer screening options are available. A colonoscopy is more than a screening tool. It can reduce your risk for colon cancer by identifying precancerous changes, called polyps, and removing them before they develop into cancer. Family history. Individuals with a family history of colon cancer or certain genetic conditions may have a higher risk. They should discuss screening options and recommendations with their healthcare provider. Symptom awareness. Being aware of any changes in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, or other unusual symptoms is important. If these symptoms persist, seeking medical attention is advised. Healthy weight. Maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise can lower the risk of colon cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, carrying extra pounds increases your risk of colon cancer and cancers of the rectum, esophagus, pancreas, kidney, and breast in postmenopausal women, among others. Talk to your healthcare team if you need help losing weight. Early detection and treatment. Early detection of colorectal cancer greatly improves the chances of successful treatment. If a colonoscopy reveals any abnormalities, further testing or treatment options may be recommended, such as removing polyps or performing biopsies. Risk factors. Certain factors can increase your risk of developing colorectal cancer, including asterisk age, risk increases with age, asterisk family history, a family history of colorectal cancer or polyps increases your risk. Asterisk personal history, previous colorectal cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, or certain genetic conditions can elevate risk. Asterisk lifestyle factors, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption can contribute to risk. Eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Diets that incorporate ample fruits, vegetables, and whole grains have been linked to a decreased risk of colon cancer. This is in part due to the nutrients and antioxidants that are present in these foods, the high fiber content, and the correlation between diet, weight, and colon-related illness. Limit red meat and processed foods. Red meat and highly processed foods are full of saturated fat which has been associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. Oftentimes, the preparation of red meat is done in a way that produces carcinogens. 
Limit alcohol. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so moderately. That means no more than one drink a day for women or two drinks a day for men. And if you smoke, quit. Your healthcare team can offer tips or refer you to a program to help you stop. Colonoscopies. It is advised that you begin having colonoscopies at age 50. Colon cancer is a highly treatable condition if discovered early on because the polyps and abnormalities that cause it can be removed to limit the development or spread of the disease. It is advised that people who have immediate family members who have had colon cancer or polyps start having colonoscopies at age 40 or 10 years before their loved one was diagnosed. Even if there are more ways to screen for colon cancer, a colonoscopy is still the best option because it not only finds and removes polyps that are precursors to colon cancer, but also detects colon cancer. How did it go? Comment below with your thoughts on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more intriguing content.